Hey guys. This is my first YouTube video, so I don't know what to say. I don't know what to think. I don't know what to do. Um... So I've already primed my lids and I've set it down with a um, nude color. And let me just zoom you guys in so you can see what I'm about to do. Cool? Too much? Okay. I'm going to be getting a fluffy brush just like this. So this color. I'm going to tap the excess and I'm going to put it in my crease. And this is going to work as a transition color. Back and forth. Next, I'm gonna grab, what am I gonna grab? I'm gonna grab this color right here. It's a little more darker, a little orangey-ish, and I'm gonna go ahead and stab that in my crease. But I'm gonna put it a lot lower than I did with the other one. And I'm just gonna go back and forth. And after I've applied those colors, I always like to go back to the same um, blending brush that I started with and going over everything. So this is what we have going on so far. So I'm going to grab this color right here same thing just where i put that red i'm gonna put this color I'm gonna go back in with my big blending brush and just blend all those colors back together so next i'm gonna go ahead and be using the new elf Cushion eyeshadow palette. It's kind of expensive to be Elf TBH. It was twelve dollars. Packaging super cute, plastic, but it's beautiful. It looks like this. Absolutely gorgeous colors, and this is in color Island Breeze. Yeah. So of course I'm gonna be grabbing this color. I'm gonna grab it with my finger because these are kind of like color pop the consistency that ColourPop has. Ooh. Wow, okay. And I'm just gonna apply that all over my lid. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a flat brush with the same color. I'm gonna try to maybe build it a little bit more. Since it is a cream, I'm gonna go ahead and apply a um, the same color eyeshadow but in a powder form. I'm gonna grab this color right here. And it's a burgundy, very, very similar to the one I just applied. I just don't want the cream to be slipping and sliding everywhere, so. One last time with the blender. So now I'm going to move on to the face. To prime my face, I'm going to go in with the Smooth Skin uh, Perfecting Primer by NYC. So for my foundation, I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. And I like this one. I love this one. It's very, very, very nice. It's not full coverage, but um, it does the job. You know, 
with my damp beauty blender I'm gonna go in and blend everything out I'm also going to be using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. I love this one too. All the YouTubers look so cute applying concealer and then there's me. For powder, I'm going to be using the... You can tell I like Wet n Wild. The Wet n Wild Photo Focus Powder. I didn't tell you what shade I was. Sorry. I'll put it in the description. I like to set my concealer first and then just kind of move down. I know it looks kind of white on camera, but it's my lights. Uh, but once I have everything on, it'll look a lot much better. I promise. With that same powder, I'm going to grab a kind of chubbier brush and I'm going to apply it to my brow bone and then just to kind of finish off the eyes sorry I like go everywhere when I do my makeup I'm going to grab my ColourPop um, gel eyeliner in Mr. Bing and I'm going to go in with the tiny little angled brush and I'm just going to apply it to my waterline grab a little pencil brush and basically everything that I did at the top I'm gonna do in the bottom with another angled brush I'm gonna grab a darker brown and I'm gonna put it really close to the waterline Palette. I'm gonna grab this color. It's beautiful. Now for my mascara, I'm gonna go in with the It Cosmetics Hello Lashes. I love this thing so much. Mm-hmm. My eyelashes on this eye are longer than this one. Don't judge me. Now to finish up the face. I'm gonna grab an angled contour brush. Anastasia Contour Kit. And this one. So my camera totally overheated and I applied uh, my bronzer and I also um, contoured my nose with a little um this is an artiste brush just by b bella and i literally just went like this and like this with my bronzer and i just took a little beauty blender and just kind of blended everything i'm gonna be using the morphe 9n this is my baby i love this thing i'm gonna use this one these are so, so pigmented, blendable, pretty. You see? For highlights, I'm gonna be using the Wet n Wild Precious Petal Highlight. I swear, Wet n Wild is taking over this video. taking a little bit on my finger for my nose just blend it in for my eyebrows I have big eyebrows I don't like to fill them in because then they look like caterpillars so I'm just gonna apply brow gel to them and for my lips I'm gonna be using the morphe 
Liquid Lip and Jealousy. This is the first time I'm using this, so I'm excited. I love it already. Last step is setting spray, and this is my favorite cucumber water by Pearl Essence. They also have a coconut flavor, which is my ultimate favorite, but I ran out. And you can get this at TJ Maxx. If you see this, grab it because you can use this after a mask or after a shower uh, to set your makeup before your makeup. I love it, it just hydrates very nicely. If you're oily, maybe you might not like it. I have the fan on. So this is the final look. I hope you enjoyed. And in advance, I just want to say thank you for supporting me, for even taking the time to sit down and watch this. This is me. This is who I am. And please like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys soon <laughs>